We're going to show you how to use the Trimble R2 GNSS receiver in Terraflex software on an Android phone. Step one is to turn the R2 on by pressing the power button and we'll jump over to the phone. I'm using MobyZen to show you the screen in my Samsung Galaxy. However, the workflow should be similar on different Android devices. Step two is to go into settings and scroll all the way to the bottom to the developer options. These may not be turned on on your Android device so you'll have to Google, Google how to enable developer options uh, and it's usually something pretty interesting like tap the kernel version seven times or something wacky but Google that get your developer options turned on and in order to use the R2 we need to allow mock locations that allows your Android device to use the R2 location instead of its own internal location. After enabling mock locations you can jump into Trimble Terraflex. Once inside Terraflex you'll select your project and then go for settings. Actually, let's look at the location status real quick. With uh, just using the internal receiver, I'm looking at about 10 feet of accuracy, so we want to do better. We'll go into settings and see that my only option is internal until I turn on my Bluetooth. So I'll swipe down and turn on my Bluetooth. Uh, we don't really need to pair with anything there. But now that Bluetooth is enabled, I can uh, search for recently connected devices or if the R2 is on, it will show up as available. And it's kind of nice that Trimble shows the serial number, so I know I'm connecting to the right device. But now we're connected. And we can go to location status. We can see 4 foot is a lot better than 10 foot but the R2 is definitely capable of better accuracy. So to get better real-time accuracy on your R2, that's back under settings. And you need to build a real-time configuration, uh, but that's not done on the handheld, that's done in your Terraflex InSphere account. So we'll jump over to InSphere. Basically, you go to trimbleinsphere.com and log in. Once you're there, uh, you want to click on your organization. Yours probably won't say Compass Tools. It'll say whatever organization you gave yourself. And then real-time configurations. Uh, we have a, a lot built already, but we'll add a new one. And I'll call this SBAS for the R2. And we have some different sources, so SBAS is a free real-time correction from the FAA uh, here in America. There are different SBAS systems worldwide. Uh, RTX is a similar real-time correction from Trimble. This one comes over satellite. Uh, if you're having trouble with the satellite service, you can switch over to an internet-based real-time correction uh, using Trimble RTX. If you live in a VRS network, you can connect to it here, uh, but for the sake of this video we'll just use SBAT. And the last thing we'll do is link it to our project. So you'll scroll down and select your project. And we're ready to jump back over to the handheld. Back on the handheld we'll need to do a sync real quick in order to get that real-time configuration to come down. But after the sync is complete, you can go back to your settings and you can select the real-time configuration you just built. And now we'll jump back to location status. And we're still waiting for SBAS, so I'll... Oh. No need to pause the video. Uh, it's in use and our 
estimated accuracy is going to decrease really quickly now. And there we go. 35 inches is a lot better than 10 feet from the internal. And uh, I'm uh, using the R2 indoors, getting GPS through a window, so um, inches is pretty good for me. But when I'm able to take the R2 outside, the accuracy will improve even more. Thank you for watching this short recording. If you have uh, other questions, you can visit our blog or email us at support at compasstoolsinc.com.